This is how Lee Miller loves to spend an afternoon. It's something I can do. I can go right out my back door, take my bike, and get some good exercise. Lee took his cycling to a different level over the past several years. I retired in 2016 and decided I was going to try competing at the track. Everything was going well for Lee until one evening. I was uh, doing a workout in the basement and I came up, up the stairs. I was carrying my laptop back up with me trying to get the, um, the lap, laptop to close the program. And my wife said, uh, are you okay? His enunciation was not right and he was labored in his speaking. She said, well, but you're talking funny, and you never carry your laptop like that. I said, well, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go upstairs and, uh, and take a shower. While he was in the shower, I did call the ambulance. Along the way, I had a seizure, and then the next thing I knew, I woke up in uh, Hershey Medical Center. I had come in and had an MRI that showed a little area of concern in the, the back part of the right side of the brain. And it wasn't entirely clear what we were dealing with. And so we said, look, you know, he looked totally fine at that point. He had had this one episode, so maybe a seizure, we'll put you on some seizure medicine and see you back in, in maybe four weeks. Let's, let's get another picture, see kind of what this thing looks like. A month later, Lee returned to get a follow-up MRI. And it became much more clear what we were dealing with. It looked like this was a, a, a malignant tumor of the brain. I was in shock. I felt like I was at the top of my fitness, you know, at age uh, 63. We got through the consult and we got to the car and we just broke down and um, we called our kids. And uh, from that point, we made a promise to each other that we would work through this together and we would stay positive no matter what. The first step was surgery. Um, he actually participated in one of the research studies we were doing utilizing a new uh, fluorescent dye that helps us identify the margins of the tumor and try to really do an aggressive removal. And he did extraordinarily well following that. He told me everything went well. We got it all. So that's, that's good. That was, that was the whole purpose. Unfortunately, the diagnosis was, was as we anticipated that this was a malignant glioma or something called a glioblastoma. And those are the most common, unfortunately, primary malignant tumors of the brain that we see. So following recovery from the brain surgery, he completed a six-week course of radiation therapy with an oral chemotherapy pill. The radiation is custom designed to target the area where the tumor was removed, because that's the most likely location where the glioblastoma can return. Doctors also recommended another form of treatment called the Optune device. This is a device placed on the scalp uh, which sends alternating electrical currents through the brain as another strategy of killing glioblastoma cells. I have to have this on to be effective 75% of a 24-hour day. So I, I need to have it on about 18 hours a day all forms of treatment that got Lee back on his bike again. I was feeling fine. I was back to my regular uh, riding routine, training. But Lee's journey doesn't end here. Almost a year after his surgery, he had another MRI. This MRI showed that there was um, some additional flares in the surgical cavity. It's not uncommon, particularly in somebody who's doing quite well, that we talk about surgery again. But before surgery, doctors encouraged Lee to keep his commitment and ride in the Penn State Chocolate Tour alongside his surgeon. This is a race for you. You need to finish uh, before Dr. Zakari finishes. And I said, okay, that's, that's fine with me. I'll make it, I'll make it happen. We were together at the, the starting line, but uh, he was at the finish line well before I was there. One race done, another to go. A few days later, Lee had his second surgery. We went on to do surgery very similar to how it was the first time, and, and people do surprisingly well. A month later, Lee went back to the hospital for a follow-up. This is when Connie and Lee's positive thinking needed to kick in. We knew that regardless, based on the pathology, that the tumor was in fact recurred, 
and that he was going to need additional treatment and that's where kind of the team kicks into to gear and we discussed a treatment plan that included both a short course of re-irradiation to that area and a combination of chemotherapy and targeted therapy treatments to really stop further tumor growth. A plan so Lee can win this race. We pray a lot and we hope that um, these two cancer drugs are working together and um, living life, taking one day at a time. Faith, hope, and determination.